everyone, Julie Jokel, real estate agent in Irvine, California. Today I have a title expert with me. We're going to show you how to uh, read a preliminary title report, so prelim. And Jackson was, is with me. Jackson, you want to introduce yourself yes. real quick? Yes, Julie, thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm Jackson with WFG National Title. I am a title representative for Orange County. Okay, great. So uh, what is included in a prelim? In a prelim? So yeah. let's just, we'll go ahead and take this prelim that we have right here yeah. and break it down for us. Okay. So the first page is going to be the property information. So you're going to have the property address, make sure that is correct. And then you're going to have the APN number. Make okay. sure the APN number is also correct. Okay. Let's go down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important things that you mm -hmm. want to look for is making sure that the title is vested how you remember it. Mm -hmm. So in this case, let's call her Kim. Okay. Kim is a single woman. Make mm -hmm. sure that is in fact how you want title to be vested mm -hmm. and how it was supposed to be vested the last time you checked. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's important. It is. Yeah. Next, we're going to have the legal description. You mm -hmm. can go ahead and read through that. Mm -hmm. There's not too much in here that I we really need to go over, but it's mm -hmm. a good thing for you to look through yeah. um, if you do. Legal de description. Yeah, exactly. that's, uh, that's a one page uh, schedule A we talked about in the future, just in case if you want to change the property to your family trust. Uh, if you take the deed to record to the county's recorder's office, that is the page they are looking for. You want to make sure include your exhibit A legal description. Okay, okay. sorry. No <laughs> Moving on. That's good, that's good. <laughs> Next, we're going to have what we call the page for our property taxes, mm -hmm. easements, and CCNRs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so make sure at the very top at 1B that you do have your property taxes paid. If they're not, we can go ahead and either fix that through escrow, mm -hmm. or if you want to pay it sooner, you can also do that. Okay. Next, this is for, you know, kind of buyers, but mm -hmm. if you look at easements, easements okay. are a really important thing to look at to make sure that maybe you want a big yard, maybe in Irvine, there's mm -hmm. not a big yard in a mm -hmm. lot of these new areas, yeah. Yeah, right. but if there is a, a 25 foot easement want to mm. make sure that you uh, note that yeah property near the beach yeah like sometimes they could be you have an easement going to the beach so <laughs> think about that um yeah exactly um, so <laughs> summertime if you want a truckload of people going through your side yard or something exactly okay. exactly next you're going to have your covenants conditions and restrictions ccnrs mm -hmm. there they are hyperlinked in your preliminary title report when, oh, okay. so you can click any you can't see it on here right now, but mm -hmm. when you get an email to you, it is oh, all hyperlinked. Okay. So okay. you can read and review your CCNRs as okay. well as your easements. And uh, let's see. Yeah, for example, our easement right here, okay. public access. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's yeah, right. that's one right there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Perfect. So we'll move on from that one. Okay. Next page is going to go ahead and showcase our deed of trust. Mm -hmm. So if there's any judgments, liens, mm -hmm encumbrances filed mm -hmm. against your property. Mm -hmm. They're going to show up um, either sometimes on the first page, mm -hmm. depending upon how long some of the description is or mm -hmm. the second or the second page. Mm -hmm. In this case, we have a deed of trust, mm -hmm. uh, which is your mortgage of 960,000. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dated July 19th, uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, okay. If there is Early a, year. yep. If there's a lien on here, that's not supposed to be on here that was mm -hmm. recorded. Mm -hmm. We need to go ahead and look at the chain of title mm -hmm. to make sure that we, we find out why that is okay. on there. Okay? okay. So that's a good, this Sounds is a good, good thing to review. Okay. Sounds right. good. Last but not least, mm -hmm. there's going to be your requirements that have been given to you by title. Mm -hmm. It's so the first one, which everyone has to do if you're selling a property is your mm -hmm. statement of information. Okay. Just to give you an idea, and I'll make this brief. If you have a lien mm -hmm. on your property and mm -hmm. say it's a deed of trust, but it's not supposed to be there, okay. it has someone else's name on it, we need mm -hmm. to find out, mm -hmm. um, or even has a name similar to you and it's $240,000, mm -hmm. a statement of information can go ahead and, and eliminate that. So the mm -hmm. sooner that we can get that at the beginning of escrow, mm -hmm. the sooner we can eliminate liens, judgments, mm -hmm. anything that is filed against your property that's not supposed to be there. Okay, okay? sounds good. So uh, can I understand this way? Um, as a seller, mm -hmm. you want to make sure uh, you don't have any lien that you are not aware of. You want to take care of it right away. Correct. But as a buyer, uh, once like uh, these are taxes, uh, which is a normal uh, fees that need to be taken care of, can we just assume that title company between title and escrow company, those will be taken care of? It's Correct. not a buyer's 
uh, responsibility. Correct. You're, okay. We're ensuring that the property is fr free and clear okay. once the, the new buyers purchase and close on that property. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the, also there are two title policies I always see on the closing statement. Yes. One is the owner's policy. The yes. other one is the lender's policy. Correct. Uh, so if you can tell us uh, what's the difference there, yes. who needs those two? So if you're selling a property mm -hmm. in California, mm -hmm. you have to have title insurance, which is going to be okay. the homeowner's policy. Okay. There's a non-negotiable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then if you have the, the lender's policy, that one can be waived if you're paying all cash. Oh, okay. okay. Got it. Okay. Yes. So if you pay cash, there's no lender policy. So there is only one. Good. It just it seems like uh, there's a lot more questions and the things we need to understand. So, but this is really, really good uh, as a, overview so yeah. i'm sure we're going to have more questions for you down the road, down the road. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much mm -hmm. this is very informative yes julie thank yeah. you for having me okay mm -hmm. thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time if you need an experienced real estate agent in irvine california text me i'll be happy to help